If you bought or you're looking to buy an EK Fluid Gaming Kit, you probably noticed that there is no draining tap on the pump. So how are you going to drain the loop? Follow the steps in the video and you'll be good to go. The things that you will need to do these are a tube with a thumbnail attached to one end, a plastic container, some paper towel, a power supply jumper and a pump testing adapter that you will need to refill the loop. First you have to protect the hardware from potential leaks with some paper towel just like this. Then disconnect the pump cable and remove the screws that holds it in place. Mine was attached with some double sided tape as there are no screw holes in the case. Then take the plastic container and put the pump over it and unscrew the fittings and carefully disconnect the tube where the water will come out easier. In my case it was the intake port and then the water will slowly start draining. And then disconnect the other tube and shake the pump a little bit so all the water will come out. Now you can start tilting the case to get all the water out of the blocks and the radiator. After you are done this, if you have to change the fluid, I recommend running the system for 10 to 20 minutes to clean all the blocks from the old one, especially if you want to change the color of your water. For example, you had red dye water and you want to change it to blue or whatever. So you are now ready to refill the loop. Disconnect the 24 pin cable from the motherboard and attach the PSU jumper to it. Then connect the pump testing adapter to the pump and to a serial cable and slowly put the fluid in the reservoir until you have the loop completely filled up. Never let your pump run dry or it will break. Don't remove the paper towels yet as it can tell you if there are any leaks and let the system run for at least a couple hours to make sure that everything is working properly. Now you can connect the pump to the motherboard, remove the PSU jumper and it will be complete. So if the video was useful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and activate the notifications so you won't miss any new video. And I will see you in the next one.